Walk the plank, Peter Pan. John Darling yelled, waving a wooden sword at his brother, Michael. The boys were plying in their nursery. John was pretending to be Captain Hook, and Michael was pretending to be Peter Pan. Ollie Wright, John and Michael, time for bed, Wendy said, walking into the room. Just five more minutes, John pleaded. You'll have plenty of time to walk the plank tomorrow, Wendy said. Michael and John put down their swords and dutifully crawled into their beds. Soon John and Wendy were fast asleep. Michael squeezed his eyes shut, but it was no use. He kept picturing Captain Hook trying to capture Peter Pan. Suddenly, Michael heard a rattling sound, followed by a loud whoosh. He opened his eyes and looked around. The nursery windows were thrown witty open, but no one was there. Then Michael noticed a shadow against the far wall. He gasped in fear. The shadow looked just like Captain Huck. Michael wanted to run, but he couldn't. He would have to hide. Michael quickly dived under the covers. Captain Hook was scary. But buying under the covers didn't make Michael feel any better. He needed to know if Pepperet was in the nursery. Slowly, he lifted the bottom edge of his blanket and peeked out. Michael still couldn't see Hook. But the captain's shadow was right there against the wall as large as life. The shadow looked around the nursery for a moment. Then it began to creep towards the far corner. A chill ran down Michael's spine. Captain Hook was heading right towards Wendy. Michael knew he had to protect his sister. As he glanced around the nursery, his eyes fell on his wooden sword. Michael reached down and grabbed the just as the shadow got. To Wendy, he threw of his covers and leapt towards it. The shadow stumbled backward. Michael lunged at it again, but it swiped at him with its hook. Michael dived under his bed. The shadow reached for him, but he darted away just in time. The shadow jumped onto the bed. Michael gulped, waiting for the hook to swipe at him again. He wondered why he was saying only Captain Hook should out. Where was Hook hiding? Michael knew he had to do something. He couldn't stay under the bed forever. Captain Hook was sure to get him sooner or later, summoning all his courage. Michael dashed into the middle of the room, but the shadow came after him as he tried to get away. He tripped over a ball, the shadow skulked toward him, shivering. Michael pictured the crocodile that waited for anyone who walked the plank. Suddenly, Michael heard someone call out, cock a doodle doo Peter Pan, Michael shouted as his hero flew in. I'm so glad you're here. Captain Hook tried to get Wendy, but I stopped him. Hook is here. Peter asked, looking around, why? It's Captain Hook Shadow. Don't let it get away. The shadow tried to run, but Peter flew after it. It's only a shadow, Michael asked that suddenly. He wasn't so scared. He leapt up from the floor and ran after it, too. Grab it from the other side, Peter called. Michael ran towards the shadow from the right as Peter flew at it from the left. The shadow was trapped in a flash. Michael reached out and caught it. Put it in here, Peter cried, holding out a sack. Michael stuffed the shadow into the sack, and Peter tied it closed. That was close, Peter said. Why was Captain Hook's shadow here? Michael asked. I shrill this shadow for a prank, Peter explained. Some prank. The shadow has been nothing but trouble. It pulled the lost boys' tails and put pinnacones in their beds. And then it flew away from Neverland to cause a trouble in London. That sounds really awful. Michael cried, looking at Peter with wide eyes. I'm glad we caught it, Peter nodded. Thanks for all of your help, Michael. I'd better fly back to Neverland and return it right away. While every Aenea board Captain Huck's ship is still a seep. Those nasty pirates have already caused enough trouble. Do you want to come with me? Peter asked Michael. I'll be a great adventure, not without Wendy and John, Michael replied. Then let's take them. Peter said, flying over to Wendy's bed. He reached down to give her a gentle shake, then drew his hand back. A-W-W. 
She's fast asleep. He looked over at John and said, John's asleep, too. Maybe next time, Peter said, jumping to the window ledge. Goodbye, Michael. Tell Wendy and John that I said hello, he called. Then he flew out into the night. I will, Michael promised. He waved goodnight and then went back to bed. Smiling, he was glad to have had another adventure with Peter. Thanks for watching.